This week's responding to your comments is all about hemorrhoids, or as we say in the UK, piles. We've got a comment from Hazel Bitbop who said, Hey Abraham, huge fan. Can you please make a video on hemorrhoids treatment at home naturally? Or what we're waiting for. Hit that like button if you're fired up for this, and let's go. Okay, so let's get real with tip number one. I want you to come clean in the comments below. Is this you getting caught into the phone trap on your bathroom breaks? Now, if this scenario sounds like a personal documentary, then it's time to start doing one of the best things that you can do to aid you with your hemorrhoid recovery, okay? So tip number one, we are gonna cap your throne time to 10 minutes at a time. No longer than that, okay? And brace yourselves for this. If you're someone that takes your phone into the bathroom, leave your phone out of the bathroom. I promise you, it will reduce your throne time and you'll thank me later. And listen guys, this is not just about bathroom etiquette. The longer you sit on the throne, the more blood is gonna accumulate in your rectal veins, which means you will never be able to get rid of your hemorrhoids. So if you are spending countless number of hours scrolling endlessly on your phone, things are just gonna get worse, so you need to put a stop to it in order for us to get rid of these hemorrhoids. Moving on to tip number two, bid farewell to straining, okay? If you're someone who's always straining and pushing when you're in the toilet, all this is gonna do is push more and more blood into those rectal veins, make things bigger, and again, make it very hard for you to recover. And I know what you're thinking, if you're thinking to yourself now, but Abraham, you've told me I need to be done in 10 minutes. How can you expect me to be done in 10 minutes if I don't strain? If you are thinking that, then we might actually be having a bit of constipation. So let's move on. Moving on to tip number three, avoiding constipation and having softer stools, okay? If I go into detail on this one topic, it's gonna make this video extremely long, okay? I already have a video on this topic. You can find it on my YouTube channel. Definitely do check it out if this applies to you as it can make a big difference for hemorrhoids. Make sure to watch it after you finish watching this video as we've still got lots more tips. Let's dive into tip number four. You need to hold off the toilet paper. Excessive wiping can make it a battleground for your rear end, making it very difficult for hemorrhoid recovery. Excess wiping can cause micro tears, basically. These micro tears are gonna slow down the healing process of the hemorrhoids. So we need to think of an alternative. So let's talk about those alternatives in tip number five to help speed up the recovery. I genuinely cannot recommend water bidets enough. It's like a spa for you behind and it's avoiding you using that toilet paper and causing that sandpaper action, okay? Water bidets are very, very helpful. So next up, let me tell you about Pranicura and their FDA registered over-the-counter topical cream for hemorrhoids, anal fissures, and severe anal itching. And they are very good friends of the channel. They have patented a unique formulation that's steroid-free, safe, and made in the USA. To learn more about them, I will leave a link to them in the description below. Definitely do check them out and their impressive reviews. Pranicura, thank you for being our sponsor. And moving swiftly on to tip number six, steroid and local anesthetic formulations. You can get these in ointment form or suppository form. These really are the big guns or the MVPs for hemorrhoid treatment, okay? You do need to apply them or insert it after you've gone to the toilet, always remember that because that will mean it will remain in its location for longer and be able to have its effect. And generally speaking, you want it to contain something like lidocaine, which is a local anesthetic, it's gonna help numb the pain, and also a steroid like hydrocortisone, which is gonna help reduce the inflammation. 